So when it comes to growing vegetables, you have several options. The most common are what we call in-ground gardens, raised beds, containers, or joining a community garden. So let's talk about raised beds. There's several advantages for a raised bed, but first, what is a raised bed? So it is a mound of soil that's held up by a frame of some type, usually wood or metal, about six to eight, 10 inches deep. And the main advantage of a raised bed is that you can bring in an amended soil mix, a good quality mix to provide that good soil for your plants to grow. Another advantage of raised beds is intensive use of the space. So you don't need as much space to garden. The typical raised bed is about four feet wide and maybe four feet, six, eight foot long, depending on your space. In-ground gardens are just what the name implies. It's just you till up the soil and you work with what you have. You can still amend the soil. Advantages, disadvantages, sometimes in-ground beds take up more space. Sometimes you don't have the drainage for them. The advantage of an in-ground bed is that you don't have the cost of building a raised bed. Just remove the perennial grass or weeds, till, add organic matter, and you're ready to plant in your in-ground bed. So for those that don't have a lot of space for raised beds or in-ground beds, maybe all they have is a patio or a balcony, then container gardening is gonna be for you. Basically what we're doing is putting our plants into large pots. A good container has to have a drainage hole, we bring in good quality potting soil, and then you can grow your fresh fruits and vegetables right there in those containers. So the nice thing about container gardening is it doesn't take space. It can be used to beautify your landscape. You don't have to be married to one form of gardening. You can have a raised bed. You can have containers. You can have in-ground. Let your imagination go. What really is important though is you find a method of growing the fruits and vegetables that works for you in your situation. So you may not have space at home. Well, how about joining a community garden? What is a community garden, you ask? Well, it's a place where you rent a plot of land to grow your vegetables. And it's called a community garden because it's a community of people. So you'll be gardening alongside your friends and neighbors that also don't have space. A community garden will provide for you the soil, the water, but you provide everything else and then you get to harvest your fresh fruits and vegetables. So no matter your situation, whether you own a home, rent, live in an apartment, there's an option for you to grow fresh fruits and vegetables.